ready to go. I'm here at Shishu Adar, and it's in the city of Pune, and this is an amazing organization that was started some years ago um, that helps many children who are in crisis, and the crisis could be vulnerability, um, lack of consistent care, the parents have lost a job, and HIV. And I'm here with Bharati. Yeah. Bharati, tell us a little bit about your title and what you do for this organization. Yeah, uh, I have been working with this organization for the last 30 years almost since its inception. And the mission of this organization is to ensure that the child remains with his or her family. Because what happens when there are crisis situations, as you mentioned just now, many times parents place their children in residential care institutions away from their own family, which is very traumatic mm -hmm. to the child and it reflects on his behavior. So our mission is, even if there is a crisis, the child should be with his or her own parents. And that is the important aspect of their family life. So we ensure that the families are strengthened, they get assistance in looking after their children, and their education continues. It's not enough that the child lives with the parents, but the education and development of the child also must be ensured. So we work with all these families who are very low income families, working in unorganized sector, mm -hmm. live in very poor economic conditions, slums, mm -hmm. and they come to us for assistance. Great. Um, with Balnan, what we have done is we've done a three-year sponsorship. We've done a sponsorship for just food, with 37 children. Yes. And the children range from the age of three years old to 18 years old. Yes. And in terms of food, I have the paperwork right here. It's everything from dal, which is a staple, yes. which is some fruits, to peanuts, which is a source of High protein. protein. Yes. Um, lots of different things, because the children that Baldan is sponsoring are HIV positive. Right. Um, where we're sponsoring them is actually 300 kilometers away in yes. Osmanabad. It's a rural area, and there's a lot of need there. And this is just a little bit on the children, we have a lot of photos here of them, and um, because it's so far away from the city, we won't be able to talk to the kids themselves, and we also need to protect their identity because they're HIV. Yes. But give me an idea of the kids. What are they like? What are their personalities like? Um, you know, what's their day-to-day -day routine? See, all these children are school-going children. <laughs> the children in the age group of three to six years, we have seven of them. Yes. So they go to pre-primary uh, schools which are located in the community. And we see to it that children go to school. That is one important aspect. Now they are all happy to come here because see, when there is HIV, there is some isolation from the community. The community initially doesn't accept them as a as they would accept other children. Mm -hmm. So sometimes they do experience isolation and it affects their general uh, daily life. When all the children are positive, they just accept each other, hug each other. There is no problem about touching another mm -hmm. child. So they feel very much at home and very much accepted when they come to our office. That's one very important thing which happens only by coming here. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. So, you know, again, we're so grateful for all the good work that you did with Baldon. We gave a grant of around seven and a half thousand US dollars for a three year sponsorship for these children. We're very, very happy um, with doing this for these kids. They're the most vulnerable. They're in a rural area. They have HIV. Their families are in crisis. But thanks to your program, we're keeping them with their families. We're stabilizing them from a health perspective and we're giving them an education. Yes, the most important part is only counseling and only emotional support is not enough. What they need is enough food and nutritious food. Because when they are taking medication, that must be supported with nutritious food. Otherwise, medication will not have enough effect and impact on the child. So, as an organization, in the past we used to feel helpless because we couldn't give them what they really needed to recover. Mm -hmm. But we are very, very happy that Baldan has really filled in this gap and filled in so well and have given us a lot of space and freedom to decide what is to be given, what is how much quantity is to be given, which we have done in coordination with the hospital which treats their HIV status. So we are very happy and very thankful to you and we are very sure that it will certainly have a very positive impact with, which we can show to you after three years. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much Thank for you. coming. Thank you very you. much. Thank you for your great work and please Please help this organization. Please help Baldan. Every single dollar that you give goes directly to help these children. Projects like this 
We search far and wide to find the very best projects that are hidden away. They're not flashy, they don't do a lot of publicity. In fact, Bharati was even shy to come on camera, but I wanted all of the people who love Baldan and love the children of Baldan to see how committed that she is and her staff. I've met all her staff that are here, um, and they're doing an amazing job. So thank, thank you. Thank you so much.